screwdriver. Always works. Nice. Oh shit. Get up. Get out of there. Come on. Make me save your ass. Jesus. Oh, thank God you're okay. All right, enough mushy shit. You get back inside right fucking now. I'm sure they got shit for you to do in there. Now! Think I'm fucking around? Now I gotta sit down here and babysit you assholes. Can't do a simple fucking patch job without me here cracking the whip? Oh, that guy is such an asshole. Him and Carver. And Tavia. Those are the people I hate right now. Nothing to look at here. Whoa! Me. Luke! Luke? Yes! Man, bit the hell out of me. I think you drew blood. Come all this way. This is this is the welcome I get. What are you doing here? Alright, listen, we ain't got much time. Okay, I followed y'all here best I could. I haven't had a night's rest since y'all got nabbed. And, well, that's the first chance I got to talk to somebody. <laughs> They're everywhere. Okay, they got guards watching everything. Shh, shh. There's a herd of lurkers just south of us. It's bigger than I ever seen around these parts. Carver mentioned that. Said he hopes it passes us. Yeah, I heard folks talking about that, but that ain't so. Okay, it's gonna hit this place. I know it is. Now, I don't know when, but it's coming and it's gonna be soon. See, I've been looking for places to, to get you all free, but I haven't been able to find anything yet. Are you feeling okay? No. No, I mean, uh, yeah, yes. Sorry. I, I just could use some sleep, you know. Hard to rest when you think a lurker's about to get the jump on you at any any moment. But yeah. <sighs> yeah. I'm fine. Okay, don't worry about me. It seems dangerous. Well, the whole situation's dangerous, but... Well, we're in it now. It's what we got. We just... We just need a plan. No way to get you and, and everyone. Luke! Oh, sorry, sorry, shit. Okay, Troy ain't gonna like you being late. Listen, Clem, I need you to meet me here tomorrow about this time. Because I, I need you to get me one of those radios, okay? Do you think you can do that? Just just one of those walkie-talkies. I just need to be able to tell y'all what's going on with them guards. You know, I'll figure out the schedule the patrols are on. I mean, they're, they're all over the place, but I can keep an eye on them for y'all from out here. Look, we ain't gonna be able to shoot our way out of here, so we gotta be careful. Where do I get one? I think they keep them in the stock room. I ain't completely sure, though. Just keep your eyes out for the charging station. Now, they put most of them back on there at night. Remember, you meet me here tomorrow. I'll try and be here around this time, but if I ain't, just wait as long as you can, because I really need one of those radios. And just let everybody know I'm all right, okay? I'm worried they, uh... Get out where I can see you. Go on. Get out of here. Hmm. So Luke is back. That's good news, I guess, but he's acting kind of weird. What the hell were you doing? Huh? Answer me. Nothing. The hell you mean, nothing? Nothing. I wasn't doing anything. Bill Radio wants a word with you up in his office. So get on up there, now! Great. Oh look, it's that guy. Dude, you better go up and see Bill. He doesn't like to wait. So you should probably go. Even you, Mr. Hippie, Mr. Scaredy Cat, even you. Screw you, man. All the people we saved in 400 days. Rebecca. Alvin is dead, isn't he? She's a strong woman. Surrounded by weak men. I ain't letting my kid get raised around that. Get in here. Uh, what do you want, Carver? Yeah, Alvin is dead. Alvin? Alvin? He passed out hours ago. He can't hear nothing. No point in making a racket. Let him go. 
Please. Why would I do that? I wouldn't be so concerned about his well-being if I were you. Not with you being so close to the fire yourself. Now. You make sure you tell me the truth when you're sitting where you are. And you won't end up over in that chair. Now, you might not believe this after what happened earlier, but I liked Red. Sure you did. He was a funny guy. He kept things light. You need folks like that. It's easy to let depression sink in during times like this. But he was weak. And I don't mean just because he was maimed. That wasn't his problem. He was weak of will and weak of character. And we can't have that around here. Not anymore. Not with what we got at stake. He didn't deserve that. Even if he messed up, he didn't deserve to die. Oh, he certainly did. You see, Reggie put us at risk with his incompetence. He's had a string of screw-ups lately. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. It's one of the tough decisions that a weaker person couldn't make. It's why it falls to people like us to lead them to safety. You understand? Well, I wish it was different, I do. But they are weak, and we are strong. That's why it's our responsibility to shepherd the flock, to keep them safe. It's their nature to follow, not to lead. I'm not like you. I know it when I see it. And we're more alike than you think. In fact, I think you realize it, but you're not comfortable with it yet. There's no way you could have lasted this long otherwise. I realized it back in that cabin. You were scared, but you looked me straight in the eye, kept your nerve. That's what we need. If we're gonna get through this, the next generation has to be stronger than the last to lead us out of this. Hmm. Kids like you, raised the right way, the way my child will be raised. It ain't this herd that keeps me up at night. We can handle that. It's not knowing if I got anyone to hand all this off to. But I ain't worried about that anymore. What if it's not yours? Well, even if that was true, it's mine now. All right, now. Bill, you there? Yeah, I'm here. The loading bay door is jacked. Try really knock the shit out of me. How bad is it? Rails are tweaked so it won't shut all the way. I don't think it's an emergency or anything, but it's something Stan should take a look at when he can. I'll get him on it. Out. That fucking idiot. Heard on its way, and he puts a goddamn ding in my door. Go on back out to the yard. It's almost supper time. God, I hate you, Carver. That's all this uh, vi this video is gonna be. I hate Carver. I hate Carver. I swear. Cause we all know what happened this morning. I don't know what that son of a bitch is gonna do next. So you wanna ring the dinner bell for a herd of walkers to show up? How is that better? Cause this place will be fucking chaos when that thing hits. No one will be paying any attention to us. And that's when we go. It's our opening. We just gotta figure out a way to draw them to us. Your friend here wants to get us killed by lurkers before Bill can do it. What is it with you? That's what it sounds like to me. You know that's not what he's saying, but it does sound dangerous. Maybe Luke could help us. He's outside. He wants a radio to help keep an eye on the guards. Thank you. That's the plan I vote for. You know about Luke? He flagged us down when Troy wasn't looking. Told us his plan. Mentioned he'd talk to you. If Luke can tell us what's going on with the guards, we can use that to pick a good time to escape. That seems reasonable. Who knows when that'll be? There was a girl back at Crawford that used church bells to send walkers all over the city. We just need something really loud. The PA system Carver is always using is quite loud. There's some speakers outside the building, pointed toward the parking lot. I saw them when we were walking out to the work. Troy's always standing next to one of them. I saw the controls. They're in Carver's office. She's right. It's all controlled in Bill's office. There's a switch in there that'll turn them on. How do you know that? I used to make a lot of the announcements back in the day. I had it flipped on once. Luckily, there wasn't much around at the time to hear it. It was plenty loud, though. That's perfect. We just gotta get into his office. Why didn't you say something sooner? Because it doesn't change anything. 
This isn't a discussion about how to do it. It's a discussion about whether it's stupid. And it's still stupid. The sensible thing is to get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. You're real difficult to deal with sometimes. Penny. No, that's all right. You ain't exactly a peach either. Why can't we do both? Even if we bring the herd to us, it's probably good for Luke to be able to tell us where they're coming from. You know what? Fine. I can get behind that. Okay, so we get that turn radio. He keeps us posted on the herd's movement. We fire up the PA thing and bring the walkers to roll over this place. And then what? Get some guns and shoot our way out. I don't know. Whatever we can. We improvise. Then that's not a plan. You don't plan to improvise. I figured out what your problem is. You don't think this stuff through. If the end of the plan is just to stroll through a herd of walkers, then you should know from the jump there's no way it's ever going to work. Actually, I do it all the time. First words I ever hear you say, and it's just some crazy, stupid shit. Hush. What do you mean exactly? When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. They can't tell you from one of them. Now I don't know who's crazier. Trust me, I've walked through herds before. It works. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. Lee figured that out. What? It's how we got out of the Marsh House. Lee covered me and we walked right through. Really? Holy shit. Oh, good one, Lee. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's get that stupid radio. We still have to find a way to get in the stock room. I got a plan for that, too. Come on, kid. Gonna need your help. Where the hell did she come from? That's a very good question. We just need to use the winch. She can just climb up from there. Then, just drop into one of the skylights over the stock room. There are shelves and stuff for you to land on, so you probably won't fall to your death. Great. That thing breaks all the time. Unless something's changed, it won't support much weight. Come on, up and at him. Don't push her, Kenny. She's our best bet. I mean that, Clem. Now or never, I guess. That's my girl. We gotta get that rope down. Mike, you wanna boost her up? Come on, kid. Don't let go. I got you. We go. It should be interesting. Try to hurry, all right? I don't think they're the sharpest guards in the world, but they're no idiots either. <laughs> I don't know. Not in your bunk. We're all done. Shit, he's coming back. I gotta let you go. I can't stand here. Grab something. Ow. Oh shit. We're in trouble. They're coming. Alright, time for some stealth action. This should be interesting. Go that way. So you're not sure? What about how many there are? Yeah. How can I be? Careful. Okay. I hope they pass by us. God, yeah. You think we're ready this yeah, time? We can't go that way. I don't know. Bill thinks we are. Of course he does, but he felt the same thing last time. We learned a lot since last time. Is it enough, though? We'll find out if they turn this way. So that's Bill's office. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So I'm missing something. It's gotta be another way to go. Over the edge. Alright. 
this guy. Might be a problem. Okay, so we can't go in the door. Is there, is there anything over here, maybe? No. This way? No. I'm guessing that's the solar panels. Doesn't look very solar panel -y, but... Can't go in here. There's gotta be something over here. Skylights. So I look at the skylight. Maybe this is it? You, there's an icon for opening. Or the hand icon anyway. So I'm guessing this is where we're supposed to go. Let's try it. Careful, Clem. Ah, oh, shit. Big hair is there. Mrs. Big hair. It's crazy about Reggie, huh? Yeah. You think Bill... Go on. Nah, it's just... I was wondering if you thought Bill maybe... Spit it out, Hank. I don't think Bill was gonna let him back in. Huh. You don't? No. Do you? I don't know. So really, no bullshit. You think we're ready? I think so. The homestead at least. I'm not sure about the expansion. Expansion. They're out there just moaning. That's what they do. It's driving me crazy. It's really unnerving. I know what you mean. You figure we'd be used to it by now. I wouldn't figure that. You never got used to a light buzzing or anything? A little different when it's dead human beings walking around. I'll give you that one. So what are you doing tomorrow? Bill wants me to start getting this bay door fixed. Is that why you're down there? Yep. What happened to it again? Troy backed into it when we brought the prisoners, the, the new people in. Steve, hard not to call Get the prisoners. Anyway, I'm looking at it now. Oh, uh, great. What we need. Jesus, really? We repurposed a lot of shit to get this place built. I can't say for sure if we even had the materials before we started expanding. I don't know about you, but it seems like we really shouldn't be doing this yet. Shouldn't we just wait until we need more space to make more space? I don't know, Hank. Bill's got a plan. Look, let's say we call it for now. We'll talk later. Alright, talk to you later. Yep, later. Out. Out. Wait for it. Go. That's one. That's two. We got what we need. Ooh, that was scary. I don't trust Mrs. Big here. Get him? Okay, jump down. I got you. We best get in bed. Troy will be back any minute. Well? Got him. Good job, Clem. Everybody stay where you are. No need drawn suspicion. That was so cool. Thank you, Clem. I told you you probably wouldn't die. Nice job. <laughs> Great optimist. Thanks. Yep. Jane, huh? Anyway, get so some that's rest. her name, Jane. I thought about Duck today, about his dumb little face. First things that come to mind are always the dumb things he was doing. Kid was always running in circles. Every damn place he went, he'd just run. He couldn't stop him. <laughs> yeah. Makes it harder to remember he was a good boy. Well, long day tomorrow. One long day.